My name is Isabel Staude. Um, I'm from Germany originally. Um, I, um, my contact with KSOP was that I um, did my PhD at KIT and my PhD education was embedded into the um, PhD program of the KSOP. Um, I did my PhD project in the group of Martin Wegener. My PhD project was on functional elements in three-dimensional photonic band cap materials. Um, so the challenge here was to um, to fabricate by um, nanofabrication methods three-dimensional silicon structures, um, which we have previously designed. Designed. So um, I used um, the technique of direct laser writing for that, um, which is a three-dimensional lithography technique. Um, and um, we then designed the structures to obtain specific properties, um, in my case, to localize light in three dimensions. I like the networking aspect very much, interacting with other PhD students and postdocs and people from KSOP that you would usually not get the opportunity to talk to. And um, I also like the events, of course. <laughs> it was always... Um, you, yeah, just this opportunity to, to see something a little bit outside of, of your own PhD project because a PhD project by nature can get a little bit narrow and very specialized so it was really good to have this opportunity to learn something different and um, acquire some useful skills um, both for the PhD project and also for life after PhD. Um, and I like the modules as well. <laughs> and after finalizing my PhD, I um, went away to do my postdoc in Australia at the Nonlinear Physics Center um, of the Australian National University in Canberra. Um, I'm now a research fellow there and um, deputy project leader of the nanoplasmonics um, project um, of our center. My main focus is now on high-index all-dielectric um, nanoparticles and how to make functional structures out of them. And the idea here is um, to have very similar um, properties as plasmonic particles. Um, so you can localize light um, to the nanoscale, you can have strong resonances, you can have magnetic response to light, and, and do all these things that have been thought for plasmonics, or at least many of these things, but without any losses. Because that's like really the elephant in the room if you talk about plasmonics at the moment, it's the strong losses. I want to proceed um, with this research into um, nano antennas and um, metal surfaces and all dielectric um, um, nanophotonics. Um, I would like to um, build up my own little research group in the not too far future and um, I would love to go on and um, do research into these topics. <laughs>